हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू दिस प्रैक्टिस प्रॉब्लम सेट नंबर वन इन दिस प्रॉब्लम सेट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम एंड वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ दिस टू सिस्टम यू कैन सी द टू प्रॉब्लम इन द फर्स्ट केस आई एम हैविंग ए मासलेस कैंटिलीवर बीम प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस वर्ड दैट इज इट इज ए मासलेस कैंटिलीवर बीम कनेक्टेड विद अ टिप मास इन द सेकेंड केस अगेन द बीम इज मासलेस but instead of a cantilever beam it is having two supports and it is a simply supported beam and a mass is connected at the center of the beam before i start solving these problems let me tell you that we have many problems in the vibration for example sometime we have a problem where this member is look like a beam but it is not a beam why because this is not a fixed joint it is a pin joint so in such cases we are not going to consider it as a beam member or we are not going to include any stiffness because of this member for such problems definitely there will be some spring members you will find in your problem second case we have a beam like member and the beam is having some mass m that means what if the beam is having mass m means it is a continuous system the system will have infinite degree of freedom and this part is not the scope of this chapter or this uh, problem set so we are not going to talk anything about a continuous system where the beam itself is having a mass it means that if i will add another mass there will be two mass one mass this tip mass as well as the mass of the beam third case we are having a beam why it is a beam because this is a fixed joint but in the previous case this was a pin joint so this is a beam but it is a massless beam when we are having a massless beam it is like a simple spring and we can get a simple spring k equivalent by just calculating the bending stiffness of this massless beam and this is the case we are solving today so let's come back again these are the two problems and we have to find the natural frequency elastic constant second moment of area and the length of the beam are given to us so let's start the first problem as i said that this is a massless beam that means i can get an equivalent system where the beam will act as a simple spring and the same mass will be attached at the tip of the beam for such cases we know the natural frequency is nothing but the k by m so now the question is what is this equivalent stiffness of this beam member you you should recall your previous knowledge of strength of material where you have studied the deflection of a beam in case of a cantilever beam if you are having a tip load f the beam will have some deflection and the amount of deflection will be defined by the formula f l cube by 3 e i where e is the elastic constant i is the second moment of area f is the load acting at the tip and l is the length of your beam if i will rearrange this term i will write it as f by delta is equal to 3 e i by l cube you can find that this f by delta is nothing but a formula for example kx is equal to f is the formula for a spring and i can convert it as f by x it will give me the stiffness of the beam that means in the given case this formula is giving the stiffness of my cantilever beam and if i will put all the value together i will be able to get the stiffness of my beam so k of the beam will be what 3 into 200 gpa means 10 to the power 9 and i am having second moment of area 0.2 into 10 to the power minus 8 meter to the power 4 and the length of the beam is 1 that means it will be 1 cube so my stiffness will comes out 1200 newton per meter once i will get the stiffness i will be able to get the natural frequency let the value of the mass is 12 kg so the natural frequency of my system will be what the natural frequency of my system will be 1200 divided by 12 this means under root 100 so the 10 radians per second please remember it will not be in hertz because i am calculating the angular natural frequency not the natural frequency in hertz so i hope that now you have understood that if we are having a beam and the beam is massless it will like a simple spring and we need to calculate the stiffness of our beam using the concept of strength of material 
similarly for the second case when we are having a simply supported beam we know that the deflection formula for the simply supported beam when we are having a load at the center the deflection can be defined as f l q where f is the load and the l is the length of the beam divided by 48 e i so in this case if again i am going to rearrange my term that f by delta the formula for the stiffness will become 48 e i by l cube i if i will put all the value in this formula again i will get the stiffness of this beam and once i will get the stiffness i can simply apply the formula of under root k by m to find the natural frequency of the system so in my case the stiffness of this simply supported beam will be 48 into 200 gpa and again 0 0.2 into 10 to the power minus 8 the length of the beam is this time 2 meter that means 2 cube it will become it's 8 so the total stiffness of the system will be 2400 newton per meter and suppose the mass is having 6 kilogram value the natural frequency will comes out as under root 2400 by 6 that will be under root 400 and that will be 20 radians per second so please remember whenever we are having a beam and if the beam is massless it will like a simple spring and we need to find the stiffness of this beam using the strength of material formula again i am writing two formula when we are having a cantilever beam the deflection formula is delta is equal to w l cube by 3 e i using this formula well w is the load acting at the tip please remember these formulas with what we have seen here for the simply supported beam as well as the cantilever beam applicable when we are having a load at the tip for the cantilever beam and load at the center when we are having a simply supported beam so using this formula we can get the stiffness bending stiffness of a cantilever beam that will be 3 e i by l cube similarly for the simply supported beam it will be 48 e i by l cube thank you